Hey everyone, hi, how are you? For those of you who do not know me, hi, my name is Winter and I'm Claire Cognizant. I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, and clairaudient. And I'm also an intuitive empath and I use my gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. And if you're here, then um, there's probably a message here for you. I don't believe in accidents or coincidences, but at the same time, only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else. If something's not resonating, then it just means that it was meant for someone else. And, um, and yeah, so there's always a reason why, you know, maybe you clicked on this video so that you could subscribe or <laughs> so that you could um, find your way to another reading. Um, but... Um, anyways, um, for those of you who are not new, welcome back and happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas, um, you know, Yuletides, happy holidays to everyone. Um, please excuse my hands. They're really, really dry right now. So, um, you guys, I'm so very excited. I'm just like thrilled and beyond honored. And I'm telling you, when I got this gift, I started crying. One of my subscribers slash private clients sent me um, the best, like a most amazing Christmas gift. Um, they, uh, um, her name is uh, Monique. And hi, Monique, thank you. She sent me um, a video camera to record the readings on so don't have to worry about like space and all of that and once I get it up and running because I just opened it um, and been getting it charged and everything once I get it up and running I'll be able to do like the pick a card readings and all of that so I can pause the filming and and all of that good stuff so I'm really really excited about that and we'll be able to do you know more like you know a variety of types of reading so we can do more of the pick a card stuff so that is so much fun I'm so excited for us to be able to do that okay and also I just um, I have thanked Monique several times but I do want to take a moment on here to just formally thank Monique so so very much like I am just blown away by your kindness and um, your generosity as well as your friendship and I just want everyone to know um, that um, that how appreciative I am of that so um, and it's also going to help everyone else because our readings are going to be able to it's like we're going to be able to do more with it with the variety and whatnot so Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the reading. This is going to be messages from your angels. And I'm, I'm hearing old school ancestors. I don't know what they mean about that, but that's what they were saying in my head. Old school ancestors. So, okay. Let us um, get into this. Let me go close the window, you guys, because I can hear people out there. And I know if I can hear them, they can hear me. So just give me one minute. Let me close the window. You know, um, I got a new uh, little heater that I got. I ordered from Amazon um, because the other one I had, how loud it was. I don't know if you guys heard that, how loud it was, but... This one is like super, super quiet, but it's also, it gets uh, really, really, really hot. So I had to crack the window. Um, I had to cut the heater off and crack the window for a minute. Okay. So I'm just going to clear out the energy for myself and yourself. If you wish to consent to the energy clearing, just, um, say uh, I consent to um, releasing any and all unwanted toxic energies, stagnant energies that are no longer of my highest good. Thank you, divine source energy. 
divine holy spirit spirit guides angels archangels ascendant masters of light and love ancestors of the highest good angelic higher light beings for the good of all and to the harm of none i call upon you now and invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here i thank you for guiding blessing protecting this reading the cards myself and the collective i thank you for using each and every one of the decks of cards that are used here today as tools to communicate to bring clarity insight guidance validation confirmation information wisdom and or knowledge that comes from love thank you for enlightening the cards and messages with clear and easy to understand honest accurate messages that come only from the divine that are only of the greatest and highest good and to the harm of none with peace love light and gratitude so it is namaste all right um some of you may be wor worried about what someone else is thinking because that just kind of was something that was running through my head you may be uh, wondering what other people are thinking or there may be someone that's worried about what you're thinking about them um You may be feeling, um, some of you may be dealing with someone or you yourself may be feeling like a lack of preparedness, um, whether it's just like in general, just feeling like, like you're not very prepared or, um, kind of like this, uh, taking it like, um, day by day or taking something step by step. I don't know what that means exactly just yet, but let's see. Um, there's also um, energy of procrastination that I'm um, picking up on that Spirit is showing me. Um, okay, so we've got, I'm gonna uh, put these back and reshuffle because it's too many cards. I do feel like there is somebody though that's behind the scenes, something here that you're not aware of something here something there's someone or something that you're not aware of that is affecting the outcome of a of a particular situation the i do feel like there's new opportunities as well with with regards to your spiritual gifts there are new i feel like i really feel like this third party card is actually like I know this may sound strange, but like this is what I'm getting. Like this third party card represents some hidden gifts that you're not aware of that are going to come to light. There's new opportunities, new things opening up, new gifts opening up. Um, because it with this card, it says there are talents and spiritual gifts you have been giving but not using. Put yourself to good use. So you may actually have some gifts that you're not using, um, uh, but... I feel like it's because you're either A, ignoring them, or B, you're just completely unaware of them. And there's going to be some new opportunities for you to kind of come out your comfort zone and use some divine um, spiritual talents or gifts that you have, some new opportunities. For others of you, there's like with this renewed heart, it's like a renewal. It's like a, a renewal with, with your gifts or with um, some sort of um, uh, talent that you have, whether it's spiritual or otherwise. Like there's this resurgence of energy that I'm getting. So we've got vibrational blessings that came out also to the uh, wounded healer. I do feel like you're you've definitely been extremely wounded and that's the thing is like you you are a healer you're an empath and you had to be wounded because um, you wouldn't be able to heal others that um, unless you had gone through that and experienced it yourself you wouldn't be able to heal other wounded people you're going to help heal other um, 
wounded empaths. Um, some of you have been wounded by um, narcissistic people in your life. Um, and with this um, vibrational blessings, um, a subtle, powerful energy is being sent to you with rewards of pure happiness, peace, prosperity, and well-being. I feel like you are healing yourself. You're, you're really... Um, it says here you're unlocking true and deep personal healing to help you navigate your way back to balance and elevate your life. And so as you're healing right now, you're really reflecting inwards. You're doing a lot of like internal stuff. Um, I feel like you're also like allowing yourself to become more vulnerable or you're being encouraged to allow yourself to become more authentic and more vulnerable and being seen, being naked in front of people, not literally, maybe literally, maybe you are going to like some of you, I am picking up like you, you stay clothed or you cover yourself up a lot. Um, maybe even like when you're intimate, you cover up. And I'm seeing you like kind of step out of that comfort zone and allow yourself to be shown flaws and all, you know. Um, but but as you're healing right now, spirit and your your angels and your ancestors are coming forward to say that as you heal, it's raising um, your vibration, which is um, pushing through blocks that have kind of kept your blessings away. And so now you're like breaking free of that to allow these blessings to, to be poured upon you. Because as, you're, as you heal, it's raising your vibration. It's raising your energetic frequency to reach these blessings because like the, these blessings come down some and you come up. So it's like you're you're meeting in the middle. The third party cards shine up again too. Look, shut up. Abundantly gifted. So also too, like you may um this this Christmas we're coming up. It's like look, it looks like she's carrying um a arm full of Christmas presents. So you definitely um could be getting gifted yourself. But I do feel like. This is like you are like abundantly spiritually gifted and spirit wants you to believe in your spiritual gifts, to believe in yourself, to believe in your talents. And um, you are powerfully favored at this time because you are um, healing and raising your energy or you're being encouraged to. So it's going to be one or the other because this is collective and those that are a vibrational match are you know abundantly gifted right now those that are a vibrational match for this reading are abundantly gifted right now and if you're finding this reading then that means that you more than likely are a vibrational match for this message and so like you are supernaturally gifted and so because of that because you are raising your frequency and you are healing and you're becoming raw and you're becoming authentic and vulnerable you are going to be abundantly successful in this lifetime. So spirit wants you to believe in that, to believe in yourself. I do what, okay, is, this is especially for those of you who are not, do not remember your dreams 100% of the time. You are really working with your angels in the dream realm because it's like they're teaching you about your gifts in this lifetime and so you're not remembering this but you are communicating with angels in your dreams they're giving you important messages to um to help you with some sort of situation i feel like it's regarding like raising your vibration and getting you to believe in yourself so that you can um receive this success because if you're here right now if you're listening to my words if you vibe with me if um, if I come across as a kindred spirit, or if you understand my messages in any way whatsoever, it's because you are an empath and you are meant to be successful in this lifetime. I feel like a part of you even knows that, but sometimes you may doubt. 
doubt yourself or doubt your gifts or doubt what you have to offer. We have thrive. Make the best of the blessings in your life. So it, once you look around and see what all you have, you're going to realize just how truly blessed you are and how abundant you are. And abundant doesn't mean that you've got millions of dollars in the bank. Like that's not what abundant is. Abundant is always having enough, always having what you need. Emotion, love, um, you know, like, let's just say okay um i love cards like i love cards tarot cards oracle cards and i have an abundant amount of cards and so when i come into my little space that i've got set up and i see my cards i feel abundant because that's where my my heart's at as far as like my for my gifts when I get a hug from my daughter, my son, when I'm with my family, I feel abundant and feeling blessed. So um, Spirit is really wanting you to make the best of the blessings in your life and concentrate on what's working for you because your angels are really clearing the way for you. So they want you to like, as you really make the most of your blessings and you start to focus on how abundant you really are, um, you're going to then um, be drawing and in and more blessings more prosperity more abundance more peace so like um so that you can really thrive i'm seeing um uh nines a lot so this is completion um this is peace this is contentment Um, I think I want to do one more card from this deck and then we're going to start pulling some tarot. What? Sacred sexuality. Look, we've got four, four, four on the ground. Um, so I do feel like fours could be significant for you. So you may um, already be seeing four, 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 or you have seen it, you know, um, uh, recently, or you will start to see four, four, four. Also, nines are significant. Um, threes, fives, and possibly eights. Um, but this sacred sexuality card, it's about um, honoring yourself, your body, as being sacred. It's a sacred vessel that is used, <clears throat> sorry, that is, um, it's used to carry around your soul. So like spirit is saying to refuse to give yourself away to those who do not honor and respect you. And it doesn't matter who this is, how much you love this person, or if you're even married to this person, if they're not, um, if their energy, if their frequency is low, then when you um, allow them to, to be with you in a, in a sexual manner, whether you're male or female, you are going to, your frequency is going to drop down to theirs. You're not going to raise them up to yours. They're going to like pull you down to theirs. So like really taking time to making sure that you're respecting yourself, honoring yourself and not allowing people to be with you in that way that don't respect you. Oh, well, I was going to use this stick. There may be even like someone getting angry or there may be like some fights or arguments regarding like um, intimacy with this five of wands and the ace of wands. Um, there may have been like uh, some fights with like romantic partners in the past regarding intimacy. 
but look you're you're sacred with the queen of cups there you're precious You are, look, you are abundantly, divinely gifted. This is, you are power, this is you being powerfully favored right now. Um, I do feel like um, you're very resilient and resourceful right now, or you're just really um, uh, uh, taking things into your own hands right now and being resourceful, being, and like, stepping out of your comfort zone to really use your gifts your abilities to make something work for yourself or to like turn a situation around for you um be careful of someone trying to manipulate you in order to get a reaction out of you to see how you're going to act or react be careful that you're not um manipulating others as well in order to like turn something or get something to turn something in your favor what is the challenge but again like that 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 um wheel of fortune that we saw with the magician that that's you being abundantly gifted supernaturally gifted this magician i feel like the magician energy has really been coming up a lot for the collective look being very resourceful with your money as well um to make something work for yourself you may have been naive in the past regarding people in your life the eight of cups the eight of cups as the challenge let me pull one more card You may have a hard time really listening to your intuition, caring too much about what other people think or um, feel, have a hard time um, letting go of something or someone. Look at that. Let me put that over here. I'm just putting that right there. Um, be, it's the star card because uh, so I don't get in trouble with viewing that picture and I refuse to write on my tarot cards. I refuse. I will not. I will not write on them. I mean, I'm, and I know that that probably works for some people, you know, like, and I'm not judging because like I totally get it you know like I understand but me personally I just cannot bring myself to do it I I almost was going to uh, but I just couldn't do it so I'm just gonna push this back here so you guys can't see it that well okay so with the eight of cups as the as the challenge it's almost like I want to read it in the reverse because so like when it's when it's reverse it's like having a hard time letting go um having a hard time listening to your intuition maybe listening to other people's intuition maybe not completely believing it in your in your gifts there's like a it can be like a low self-esteem so it's like you have all of these amazing gifts you're very talented but like at the same time your self-esteem may 
keep you um, from fully using these gifts and manifesting abundance for yourself. I do feel like you are trying to manifest or like you're working on manifesting right now. You may be like really accepting manipulative behavior as well. You may be afraid or worried about moving on from something, you know, or like moving uh, forward a bit hesitant. Some of you may be like appearing to be like really happy and um, but behind the scenes there there is like this unhappiness. It's a it's a completely different. And I don't know, it's like underneath it all. You know that something here isn't working you know that you need to let go of something or someone, letting go of emotions, fears, pain, so that you can move forward. You, some of you are maybe even like trying to run away because I'm hearing that song, run away, run away from the pain. You guys know what I'm talking about? What song is that? Um, but it's, it, because the six of swords is here so like you may be like trying to run or like you have ran like in the past maybe you ran away from your um psychic or spiritual gifts or your talents um i do feel like there is someone that runs away from love it's like when people get too close you may run or you're dealing with someone who does this that just kind of runs because there's this um, fear of being vulnerable. There is, and like that's what I was seeing too about vulnerability. There may be this fear of being vulnerable, of being naked in front of others, you know? So maybe you run from that or try to find ways to run away from that. There is this sense of um, um, low self-esteem, low self-worth. I am also seeing um, someone that is very unhappy in a relationship, but unwilling or fearful of letting go. Something here feels very monotonous, very stagnant. There may even be like a fear of commitment or a fear of healing. could be dealing with someone that runs away from relationships like once things really start getting serious they run they run seeing someone running and and try to try to avoid their emotions whether it's like you know physically leaving a person or like just withdrawing emotions because they're running to, to try to avoid something here yeah, they don't want, they're trying to avoid, somebody here is trying to avoid um, uh, disappointment, avoid pain, avoid an ending. This could be with friends too, like with friendships. When friends start getting too close, you're fearful of being hurt again, so maybe you withdraw from them. Could be dealing with a friend or a romantic partner that does this to you. I do feel like, though, that there's this, with this Eight of Cups here with the Magician, and we were talking about spiritual gifts, I do feel like um, <clears throat> you may be um, lacking a bit of um, some self-awareness. Um, there's like this power struggle within yourself. There's um, a, like maybe lacking self-awareness like in your spiritual growth or like maybe you're feeling like you're maybe um your spiritual growth has been a, a little stunted here 
and um, you're really needing to take some time to do like some deep soul searching so that you can connect with that spiritual self, really um, finding your your purpose and your path. Maybe you feel like you're just kind of drifting through life. You know, don't feel like you have any real direction right now. I'm hearing that song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I heard that in one of our readings not too long ago too. It's almost like, um, I, I could have sworn I saw the strength card. Oh, I, I know I saw it earlier. So, um, it's like, I do feel like asking spirit and connecting with your higher self so that you can get that strength and that courage to to leave behind those things that are not serving you and know that spirit is guiding you. So if you're feeling like um, unprepared or lacking direction, spirit is going to show you the way with the star card, you know, um, really going within to find your guiding light, to find your North star so that you can get back on track with your life purpose or with your spiritual journey, or with regards to connecting with your spiritual gifts or relationships, there is, it's like Spirit wants you to know that there is hope, you know, to not lose faith right now if you feel like you're just kind of directionless, or, you know, you don't know which way to go on your, on your journey right now, that to really just take time to spend, like, in meditation, Connecting with your higher self. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. I just looked over here and I'm like, oh, those are perfect to use with this message. the goddess guidance oracle and the daily guidance oracle it's gonna be a bright bright sunshiny day you guys if this is resonating with you will you please uh give me a like because the more you guys like the content, the more it'll reach others. And if you are liking the comments, and like, if you are liking the videos and you are commenting um, and you are subscribed, you could potentially receive a free 15 minute reading because I do at least one a, um, a month on or around the first of each month. Angels, Archangels, Divine Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love, Ancestors of the Highest Good. What guidance can you give to the collective at this time? What guidance can you give to the collective at this time? family so um this situation that you're currently going through look let go of your past and that's exactly here the eight of cups it's time to let go of the past you may have like um had a difficult experience regarding family some of you may have felt abandoned by family you may have had like some narcissistic um 
family members. Some of you may have been adopted or you just really grew up quickly, but it's like something here, whatever this is, whatever this challenge is that you're dealing with either spiritually or like um, emotionally or with regards to relationships or feeling lost or uncertain, whatever this is that you're going through, um, it's like, There's a situation that is rooted in an emotional experience with your family. Some of you, this could be like, um, you could be in separation with a family member, whether it be like um, a spouse or a child or a parent, whatever this is. Um, and there's been some sort of painful experience that needs to be healed. But I feel like you've been carrying the burden from this past around from this past experience around so much um your angels they want you to know that they can help um you understand and heal this here they can help you heal in your mind in your heart um they can surround surround this person you know so in your mind and in your heart you want to surround this person with love and light as well and um, and really allow yourself to experience this calming blue light and visualize angels that are really healing you and this situation. Be open to the gifts within the situation. Allow yourself to feel peace. And then letting go of your past on the bottom of the deck. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons, the love, and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and now it's gone. So, whatever this is that somebody, maybe someone else won't let something go or feels like they can't let something go, and it's like you, it, now it's time to like move forward and find peace in the situation. And if somebody else wants to carry the burden of, of something, some sort of past emotional experience, there you're going to have to allow them to just carry that then because it's no longer in your hands and you're just going to let it go. And if they want to pick it up and carry it, that's, that's up to them. But just know that your angels are helping with that situation. Look, as soon as I take the deck out the box, look, we've got peace on the bottom of the deck. There's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. So whatever this is, like don't, there may even be someone that's holding on to a grudge or some something, some sort of wound from the past. And um, which is still like, because that energy is so strong, it's still kind of keeping you feeling directionless too. Or just kind of like, you know, unprepared. So, let me just go ahead and put that back there. Can I get one more card of guidance for the collective spirit? Um, so I, sometime next week, I will, um, or sometime around the first, probably be next weekend, I will announce the, um, the next winner of the free 15 minute reading giveaway. So all you gotta do is be subscribed, like the videos and comment. And the more you comment, like on each video, um, the higher your chances are of winning because I will randomly choose a video and then randomly choose a comment. And then once I verify that they're subscribed, then I'll choose them as the winner. So, all right. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. The magician, you are a sorceress, sorcerers. You guys are able to manifest whatever you want into reality. Express yourself through creative activities. So 
spirit. So the challenge though is letting go of something here, letting go of self doubt, letting go of um, some sort of painful experience. And with that star card raising your energetic vibration, the star card, it really represents like um, collective consciousness and what one person can do, all can do. So like if, if one person can manifest their dreams and go after their dreams, you can too. So it may involve, you know, like letting certain people go. You may have to make peace with the fact that not everyone can go where you're going, that not everyone can um, go to this place of peace where you're headed. But I wanna look here oh, at this book. What's it? Fry it. There we go. And it says, a large part of my power stems from my connection to animals and nature. If you've been indoors too long, you can recapture your personal power by simply stepping outside. So maybe too with this Eight of Cups, like this is like you've been inside too, too long and you need to get outside. Maybe some of you just need to go for a walk. Um, <clears throat> so that's the simple motion of you know walking will do you a wonder of good so maybe you do need to like just go for a walk get outside and go for a walk like this person is um it's going to help reawakening um your sleeping magical spiritual nature Allow the light of the sun, the moon, the stars to stir ancient memories that may be dormant. Because I do feel like you um, you have, like from the very beginning, there are some gifts within you that are needing to unfold. So getting outside, especially outside under the stars. So like whenever you see this reading um, tonight, doesn't matter if it's the same day, whatever it is that you're watching this reading tonight, go outside under the stars and, and just kind of walk around outside under the stars if you're able, or at least get outside um, and, and get out in the starlight. Um, I feel like that right there is going to help you tremendously. If you're able to walk, walk. If you're not, just being outside um, under the stars is really going to help you um, immensely. So recall the times of your magical abilities and then put them to use immediately for the good of the entire planet. Get out there under the stars and reclaim your magical powers with the magician there. Get out. These three cards right here is exactly right there with that sorceress card. So, um, and then put them to use immediately for the good of the entire planet. Resume the mission that was once aborted through the misdeeds of past time leaders. Take up your spiritual arms and move with swift speed into the night, awakening one and all to the magic that is life itself. So this is like two, like right here with this um, sorceress card, with the magician and the star. This is like you having absolute faith that your dream is manifested. Let go of any kind of self doubt, uh, and know without a without a doubt that you have um, this ability. Some of you, like, you're needing to make, like, some sort of, like, a clear decision or getting clear, especially with that Two of Swords right there. Um, you need to know without a doubt that you de deserve to receive good, no matter what's happened in the past, no matter what's happened with your family or what a family member did um, maybe even like situations with your own children or, or whatever this is, like you, there may be guilt tying you to a family member, uh, and, and you deserve goodness. You deserve happiness. 
because because when um, as you win, you're going to allow others to win. They're going to be there to help others win. Um, I feel like spirit is saying that you need to keep your thoughts focused on your desires. Keep away from fear. Don't allow yourself to um, drift aimlessly. Get clear on what it is that you want using clear intentions to make your dreams a reality. Let go of these past burdens. Express yourself. There is going to be fairness. It's like you're going to finally get what you deserve. So this is what I have for you guys. If this reading resonates, please feel free to, um, to let me know. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, um, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know. One of my specials that I'm running right now, um, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep it like this, but I think I'm going to keep it like this for a while, so don't worry. But you can get two questions for 20 bucks. And what I do is I will pull three tarot cards for each question, um, as well as some added oracle cards. Um, so um, probably three to five cards per question with added oracle cards. Um, and I will do that on a video. Uh, and then it will be, your, your reading will be processed and uploaded and sent to you and all of that within 72 hours of receiving your payment. So send me an email. Let me know if you're interested in that. Also, I'm doing a messages from your person. If you're wanting to know like what your person is thinking, feeling, um, what's going on between the two of you in the 5D, all of that, all of the things. Um, it's a really good uh, romance reading, especially for those of you that are in a twin flame connection. And that is only $33. So um, anyways, you can always email me to get more information and hopefully I'll have a website up and running soon. But in the meantime and in between time, that's the way I do it. And I'll also, um, you guys can send me a text as well if um, that's what you would rather do to set up your reading. But the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.